the format of being robot. On early 2009, I have invited my friends Mike and Tom to play some games and watch some television in my home. Everything was going well, until I have decided to watch Nickelodeon. I never thought this would ever happen on the channel before, and I still wonder to this day, how exactly did that even happen? We put the channel on, and what was airing at the time was currently a rerun of the Spongebob special, whatever happened to Spongebob. However, we could notice something was off. There was no screen bug as usual, as well as visible glitching on the screen, and at first we thought it was just our signal. However, we checked other channels and they were all running pretty fine, meaning that it was the channel itself. However, since there was very few glitching, we thought it was fine as we still could watch it, and see what was going on. However, the glitching just got unexpectedly worse. At the part where Spongebob arrives at the Krusty Krab, the glitching was visibly worse than before and was more intense. We thought that was pretty annoying, but we thought Nickelodeon would fix it soon. But it was taking them a little too long for them to fix all of the glitching, as it was pretty close to making the episode barely watchable. However, it continuously got worse and worse as the seconds passed by. On the part where Spongebob slides and gets Mr. Krabs, the glitch got more intense. More colors flickered on the screen such as gray, and the saturation would always be changing each few seconds. Some colors on the screen would also appear glitching. At the part where Spongebob gets kicked out of the Krusty Krab and starts crying, it crashes twice for one second, the second time two seconds. The glitching was now as worse as it could be. The frames of the episode now appeared to be jittering, and every one second, a frame would appear, where the colors would be replaced, each a split second. My friends and I were all annoyed. Why wasn't this still fixed? What was taking so long? However, at the part where he leaves Bikini Bottom down the road, muttering the same words his friends said to him, there was now silence. The only thing we could hear at this point, was the faint buzz noise of our CRT television, as well as very, very strange faint sounds in the background. It didn't end there though. At the part where he runs away scared from a bunch of weird people he found on that night, and falls off a cliff, the screen froze, which would not have been so bad. Except it was on the part where Spongebob was laying down on the ground at the distance, after falling off the cliff and getting his head on a bunch of rocks. The screen then cut to black for a few seconds, and it then returned on that same frozen scene, except the glitching was now all gone. It stayed like this for a minute, and it cut to a part where Spongebob was seen on the ground with a long bump on his head. The screen was then zooming out from him and it cut to black. A few seconds later, the screen bugged and faded in. It stayed like this for an hour, and because of this, we had to watch something else. Since we were young at the time, we were pretty much convinced that Spongebob was dead. An hour later, we put the channel back on, and it was on the same black screen for a few seconds before the episode finally returned. The screen bug could still be seen, and it cut to the part where Spongebob wakes up and hears villagers. There was no audio for a few seconds before it returned. At this point, everything came back to normal. There was still weak glitching for a few seconds before it stopped. We were glad that this ended, as well as knowing that Spongebob was still alive. However, we still had a bunch of questions, and ever since that day, we eventually forgot about this incident, but sometime later, the memory would come back. I searched on the internet to see if there were any recordings of the incident happening live, but I didn't find anything, other than a WMV video file on a file sharing website. The file was titled, Idiot Boy. The name reminded me of what Spongebob's friends called him at the beginning of the episode. Intrigued, I downloaded the file to see what this was all about, and luckily, it was a recording of the same incident happening live. I am glad I could see this again, however, the black screen part was cut, and didn't last an hour long, like what happened on live television. Instead, the black screen on this video lasted for a few seconds before the episode returned. 